Welcome back. We are here looking at the ETFs, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, April 12, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new studios, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our, our online trades, and also our courses. The link is down below. You're where you're welcome to join. So we'll start by looking at the ARK Innovation ETF. And as you can see, we are basically trading just above the 20 exponential moving average. So we dropped 0.71% on Friday, and it has basically been hanging around here at the 20 exponential for quite some time. So that could be a bullish shine. We are just above the uh, top of the uh, middle of the bullish band. We could see this rally towards the, the top of the bullish band. This has been an uh, ETF that has basically been, well, uh, been testing the 200 moving average uh, uh, twice in the recent uh, month or two and at this current stage it has basically found quite a lot of support down in this area so we have there's a lot of job work to do in order to get you through these uh, moving averages here to 40 the 100 and the 50 but there are signs that this could basically be taking off if we are going to break down from here then we'll most likely find support down here at this 107 and then the 200 moving average. Break below the 200 moving average, we'll drop this all the way down to 91 and that will be fairly catastrophic for, for this uh, ETF. It has been one of the best performing ETFs of uh, 2020. You can see that basically the bottom here of uh, the coronavirus and all the way up toward the top here, that's a rally of roughly 350% in only, well, give or take nine months. So a pullback like this, um, that was always expected. It has basically broken down, give or take, 32% uh, when it fell most and has regained, give or take, 16%. So around half of uh, basically the, the drop from the highs here, it has basically recovered. It is uh, trading just above the 20 exponential at the moment. And if you look at the technical indicators, the MACD is still in negative territory above the signal line. RSI is flat. CCI is still in uh, uh, positive territory, but it's flat. We're trading just above the middle of the bullish band. So as long as that is the case, we could rally to the upside, break below here, could see this drop to the bottom. That is around at 100 and 11 and we can see that the stochastic is still in uh, bullish territory but is about to cross the signal line and that's a bearish sign if you look for example in the cloud we can see that we are still underneath the cloud and that is a bearish signal that is not good for a uh, signal for this uh, etf uh, we can also see that the, the 9 and the 26 moving average are very really close together so we could see a crossing of these moving averages which is uh, basically a buying signal so you can look at the four hour chart and we can see that we have actually crossed here in the four hour chart so there is a, a buying signal in the four hour chart and that's happened give or take on the uh, 6th of uh, april when we basically had this crossing and we are in the four hour chart trading within the cloud and usually then it's a sign that there's either a buying signal or a selling signal so at this current stage if we have a crossing of the of these two moving averages in the daily chart, then that is probably a, a, a very good sign that this could be taking off in the future. If we get rejected here, then that could mean that we could revisit these previous lows again, and this could fall another 11%. So let's look at the DVI. So we can see that we are trading, uh, we have been in a basically a constant uptrend. We are trading within a very nice, channel here and uh, it doesn't look like we are about to break down any time soon in this ETF. We're trading just above the 20 exponential. There's a lot of uh, support underneath and there's a lot of room to the upside at this current stage before we run into uh, this channel. It will be around 122. Technical indicators, they are actually uh, turning around. MACD is still in, in, in positive territory, but it's underneath the signal line. The RSI is flat, the CCI is uh, bullish, and the stochastic is still in uh, positive territory, but has crossed the signal line, and that is a bearish shine. So we could see this uh, pull back towards the, the 20 exponential or the middle of the bullish band. That is a give or take a 114 or closer to, uh, to yeah, 114 give or take. 
So we are basically at the top of the bullish band. We are a bit fairly overstretched here, and therefore we could see this pull back towards uh, the middle. We could also see this pull back all the way down to the bottom, and that would basically be where the channel is. So a drop of 2.9%, give or take. That is probably where buyers will come back in and buy it, as we have basically seen this bounce off that channel. So let's look at the, at the VTI, Vanguard. So this is getting uh, fairly overstretched. And um, as you can see on the, on the RSI, we are over. But you can see here in the Bullinger band, we are basically at the top of the Bullinger band. So at this point, it is fairly risky to buy this. Uh, pull back towards the 20 exponential. That should be expected at this point, uh, give or take minus 2.9%. Or the very bottom of the Bullinger band, that is 5.79%. So we have seen these occasional breakdowns of uh, give or take uh, six to uh, six to eight uh, percent. We saw one here that is also give or take uh, give or take four percent, four point four point half a percent. And uh, when we get this overstretched, we it usually snaps back towards the middle of the bullish band or twenty moving average. But at this point, technical indicators are very bullish. MACD is very bullish. The RSI is overbought and bullish. The CCI is bullish, and so is the stochastic, but it has crossed the signal line. So that it could be an indication that we would basically drop um, in this. But we're in an uptrend, so there's no point of basically finding this. Uh, buying, buying the dips is has been the strategy all the way back to uh, end of March last year. No, not New York March, it's basically end of April last year. It has been the same, buying the dips uh, at the 50, 100 moving average and the 20 exponential moving average. So, And as you can see, this ETF has uh, found made basically the top here at the 97.75 and then fell, give or take, 90%, 19%. Um, and found support at the 200 moving average. Then it rallied up towards the 100 moving average, a uh, rally of 7.22%. Uh, and after that, it has basically broken down yet again. So the 200 moving average is uh, probably going to be the bottom here. We'll probably drop it back towards the, the 200 moving, moving average again at 70, 79.72 before rallying again. If we break the 200 moving average, we can see this drop another 7.8% towards the 300 moving average. Technical indicators are all turning around at this current stage. MACD is in negative territory, is above the signal line, but it is turning around. RSI is fairly low and it's also turning around. CCI is turning around. Stochastic has crossed the signal line and is bearish at this point. And we got rejected at the middle of the bullish band. So at this point, it looks like momentum is fairly to the downside and we'll probably go and retest the bottom here at the bullish band at give or take um, 79.43. So let's look at VII, IVV, sorry. So also here, we have been in this really nice uptrend um, channel. You can draw it up like this. And, and at the moment, we are getting very close to the top of that channel. So give or take around the 419, that is where we most likely find a major resistance. We are also at the very top of the bullish band, but we have been here for the last five trading days. So a pullback towards the middle of the bullish band, uh, that's a breakdown of give or take 3%. That should be expected at this point, as the RSI is at 80 and is significantly overbought. MACD is still very bullish. Stochastic is still in bullish territory, but it's crossed the signal line. The CCI is very bullish, and yes, it is just a matter of getting some uh, bad news, and this will basically drop. Uh, rallies from here, well, that will only mean that the, uh, the breakdown will be that more significant. Significant. There's no reason to short any of these. It is basically buying the dips, uh, and uh, it has found support in the past at the 50 moving average, the 40, and the 20 exponential moving average. So. Hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.